not know this about me. You may not know this. I hate bugs. I know. I'm probably alone in that. All right, we all, <laughs> right? We all hate bugs. Everybody else actually, loves them. Yeah. That's actually, correct. I'm not alone. And even though this is 10 faves, Matt Davis was hanging around the yeah, studio and we were like, bugs. what are you doing? Yeah. And so I gave him a hand and I helped him up off the floor <laughs> and he came right in here to tell us about this amazing solution. Yeah. It's no pest, no, no, um, well, no pests. Really, no cockroaches, no more ants, no more traps, ah. no more sprays, Hold no on. more. Um, Where's guy? Ants, Where's guy? Roaches. Yeah, no more guys. Yeah, um, I mean. No more mice and rats. <laughs> Holy cow! This is really an incredible solution, and you, it, all you do is plug ah. it in. Look at that. First thing in ew, the morning. Ew. Uh, have you ever turned the light on and you see these little guys scurrying around, uh, welcoming you to the kitchen? Yeah. Well, this is a way to get rid of them without poisons, without spending money every single month where you have to have a stranger come into the house and spray who knows what around you, your kids, your pets. Yeah. This is the ultrasonic pest repellers from Bell & Howell. We have sold millions of these at HSN, a huge customer pick. They love these. These are the ultrasonic. Now, what is ultrasonic? All it is is basically think of it as a speaker and it sends out waves that chase away the rats and the mice, the cockroaches, the ants, the spiders, Ugh, that's the one I hate. All you do is plug them in in any regular old outlet and these are independent laboratory tested. So it's not HSN or Bell & Howell telling you they work, they're independent laboratory tested to chase away 99%. I think the 1% must have like uh, earplugs in or something. Yeah, they're like, but this I, is I refuse to <laughs> I listen. I refuse to I, leave. I will, I will still come and eat your food. Yes. Um, today you're getting five for only five $29. Pack, yep. exactly. So this is incredible. And with two of them, you're not even giving up the outlet that you're plugging it into right. because it has an outlet on the side. I can't mm -hmm. tell you how many um, how many places There's I've the used outlet. these. I do want to tell you, you want one in every room of yes. your house, including the bathrooms, maybe the closet, depending on how big your closet is. I used to have Anywhere a giant closet. Anywhere there's an outlet. Yeah. Anywhere Florida. there's an outlet. Anywhere there's an outlet. Please yep. use them in the garage or out mm -hmm. on the lanai. They send an ultrasonic sound that your pets can't hear, you can't hear. It doesn't bother you. There's no odor, obviously. It's just an ultrasonic. It doesn't work on, it doesn't work on Guy. It doesn't work on hosts. Because, that's right. But look at that. The puppy doesn't care. He doesn't hear it. No. It's not like, you know, it's not like a dog whistle or something. And I think every host here at HSN owns these and loves these. I know we do at home. I'm you 12. move from house to house. There you go. You <laughs> move from house to house and you take them with you. There's nothing to replace. No little inserts to buy. You don't have to pay more every month you buy them once you place one in each room wherever there's an outlet and don't put it behind the couch okay do not hide it behind the refrigerator. Place it where the sound can really radiate and it'll chase away those pests. Don't hide it under a bushel. Don't hide your no. light under no. a bushel. No. That's exactly it, right. Well, it, it, needs, send out it, it, it creates this kind of a force field, this yes, kind of barrier. Exactly. So you don't want to put anything in front of it. I, I actually, when I first used these, I actually had it behind mm -hmm. uh, a, um, an air purifier and I was like, oh, okay. oh my gosh, I need, to I need to move it out. Right. But that's why they're designed mm -hmm. to be sort of inconspicuous, which they are. But let me just, can I ask, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah. Your worst bug. What, like everybody has a bug that mm -hmm. they hate worse than any other bug. Oh, What's well, your I mean, it has to be. I would say spiders, yeah, okay. but I think cockroaches. See now, now they're giant here. They're, seriously, that's not an. Attack. I worked in the restaurant <laughs> business for many, many years, and right. we were next to a movie theater, and so we had a lot of popcorn and issues, mm -hmm. and we got cockroaches. We dealt with because you mm -hmm. can't. You have to. Spiders to me are the worst thing because oh, well, because cockroaches really won't things. actively come and bite you. Yes. Oh, that's true. Whereas a spider, and I've been bitten by spiders before. In fact, uh, when I was traveling cross yeah. country, I was staying at a hotel that was not one of the best chains ever, that you can imagine um, back in the day, and I was sleeping one night, and I actually felt something crawl across uh, my forehead. Ew, 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 at about ew. two o'clock in the morning, I actually got up, packed, and left because I was driving cross country, yeah. and it was awful. Time to go. And I've yeah. had, I mean, but even like the little centipedes, all that stuff. Here, here's what's so wonderful about this product, more than anything else, is the fact that this creates an atmosphere where they don't want to come in. You see, most of the time when you treat for bugs, they're already in your house. Yes. And right. they're already crawling around. And then when and then you, you and, kill them. Or, or if you just if you just injure them, then they crawl around even more. And now they're more than likely to crawl on your bed and whatever because they're they're not doing their normal thing. They're 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 poisoned. <laughs> they're so, not happy. You know, it's that like, is not it's like, well, a very good picture. No. No, it's like when you when you when you poison a mouse or a rat, it crawls into a place because it, it goes to die wall. into your wall yeah. and then it dies. Yeah, so and then you smell something. Yeah, the best part is these keep the bugs mm -hmm. outside. They don't want to come into the to that barrier. They can sense that force field, and they don't want to come in. Whereas all these other
other treatments, yeah. bugs are already in your house. Look at, so look at some yeah. of these. These are yeah. amazing. I, and uh, oh, horrid, Shannon horrid. said that I could spray some of this on you. You'd be okay with that. I, uh, I, have, <laughs> I have the ability to repel. Yeah, things, yeah, not so, uh, so much. I think God would punch me on live TV. Right. You know, these poisons, you buy these six, seven dollars a bottle, and hey, honey, we're out of uh, roach spray. Well, these have precautions on the back. This is poison, folks. Right. Don't fool yourself. This is not something you want in your house. Think about rats and mice. You've got those big traps. If you hear that sound in the middle of the night, that good news is you have a dead rat. The bad news is now you have to get rid of the dead rat. Or you Look have an injured these. rat. Oh, uh, how about an injured that rat? Make, that that makes you feel really pad. good in the middle of the night. Oh, oh good, there's a dead God rat in forbid. my house. Yay, call Yay. Guy and have him come. Look, that's rat poison. This is not good, safe around kids or pets or whatever. Why do they make it look... Like, they make it look like, like toys, bear? little tinker toys. They make it look like, how like, about for, like edible, yeah. Yeah, how about ants? Okay, that's a whole nother Megillah, as they say. This is expensive stuff. You have to buy these over and over and over again. And here's the cockroach spray. I love this. What's great about cockroaches is that they give you the traps for the big one and for the small one. So you have to buy two different traps for two different kinds of cockroaches. I don't like that. That's expensive, costs me money every month. This doesn't cost you money. You get these home one time, you plug them in, you're done. You're mm -hmm. done-ski, as they say. You know, when I, when I first moved to Florida and I saw my first, what do they call them? Palmetto. Uh, palmetto yes. bugs. That big just cockroach. means ginormous <laughs> cockroach. Big giant one. Um, and they fly. And then I got these uh. and I was like, oh, I guess those bugs mm -hmm. don't come into the house. I moved into another house. Yeah, I they... didn't plug these in right away. We had those cockroaches bugs mm -hmm. all over the place and ants and I was like oh they do come in the house oh yeah as soon as I plugged these in and this is not a joke and I was really cynical about it they stopped coming in the house yeah I, know. I didn't have to use that nasty stuff around my pets or around well, like I think the reason that I didn't say spiders as my most feared thing is because I literally have not seen a spider in my house so you since have I no plugged fear. these in uh -huh. well, take them out for a few weeks. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I'm shit. scared. Yeah. Well, we moved in the other house too before I put plug these yeah. in. My dog caught a rat. I mean, talk about <sighs> yeah. not killing it. Yeah. Then what do you do? Oh. You've got an injured rat. I had just a face scares off with like, rat. Didn't even come you in ever, your yard. Did you ever hear what I happened? To Jared, Jared oh. had a rat in his toilet. Came oh. through the plumbing. This is a true story. He can't, and he didn't. He didn't tell Terry, and he didn't tell his daughter Good. Hannah. He's like, I'm not telling them. He actually tell them he again. put a thing on top of the toilet. He called. The, they had to come fish the thing out. It was still alive. It actually came back through his plumbing. This is a true story. So but, now listen. What, you know that one gets me. It, you never know that where they're going to come from. And you know how they're going to get in there. All I'm telling you is this Ugh. is a, this is an eco-friendly yep. way yeah. to be able to take easy care of your easy. home and take care of your kids. Nobody wants to put poisons around their kids or their pets. And and listen, you know it keeps them on the outside. Side. That's what the big thing is. So it's kind of like, you know, when we sold uh, Arlo the other day, you know, we had our, our uh, it keeps, Security. It keeps, keeps yeah. the people out. Yep. Before they even get in, you see them. It's the same premise, sure. you know, because everything else is after the fact and you're spraying to kill things. And by the way, you're never going to get rid of them. There's, do you know how long cockroaches have been here? Yep. Well, and when you uh, see long one, time. Yeah. How about swatting mosquitoes? They were here really? before us. So, yeah. so isn't it better to figure out a way to keep the mosquitoes out of your neighborhood, yeah. and out of your yard? Um, uh, well, this is this is that same sort of uh, treatment for inside yeah. your house. For so ants, whether it's cockroaches, ants, any spiders. kind of a, yeah, any kind of okay. weird, creepy, crawly that you don't want to be climbing in, you know, underneath your sheets and and and. Like I said, that's that's what happens. And if you just bit one time, I got bit by a spider in Arizona at a hotel on the foot. You could bring these to a hotel, though, right? Like Absolutely. you're not going to necessarily go in and spray Absolutely. Thanks for telling me that now. now. Yeah, you right. Could. Where were you in Arizona? You're spider buy food. At you probably $8 weren't even in Arizona. Off at, right? At eight dollars off, I would get I would get two sets because sure. now you can put maybe two in your garage, depending on if they're kind mm -hmm. of you know. If you have a larger room, if you ever, you yeah. know, what? I got to tell that quick story. Sorry to interrupt, yeah. but about the garage, we moved to the condo. Okay, and I'm Mr. Pest Repeller, right? So we brought ours from the big house. Uh -huh. We're downsizing because the kids are finally grown and gone. <laughs> I really miss them. I I, but, but anyway, so we moved into the condo, and my wife comes in one night, and she goes, hey, Matt, guess what I saw in the garage this morning when I was going to work? A mouse. Now, I hate mice and rats equally with spiders. They scare me. I don't know why, but I'm up on the table. Well, guess who had forgotten to put one in the garage? Mm, when I, then I grabbed Miller. an extra one I had. I plugged it into the garage. No more mouse. It's gone. I don't care where they live as long as they don't live in our house. They can go off and live in a field somewhere and be happy and frolic. But mm -hmm. you're not. if you're not paying rent, you're not staying at my house. And remember, you're going to place one in each room. We're giving you two of them with the night light, which 
which is a nice added feature, mm -hmm. plus the extra plug on the side. And then we're giving you three of what we call the classics. They all work exactly the same way with that ultrasonic sound. You don't hear it, your cats, dogs don't hear it, but, uh, but all these rats and mice, cockroaches, ants and spiders, they hear it 99% effective at keeping them out. I love mm -hmm. it. And you can barely even notice it. Like right. when I look at yeah. all of those pictures, they're really yeah. inconspicuous. Them in, and with it. two of them, you're not even giving up the plug. And it doesn't matter where you live. I mean, everybody has little creatures that are kind of inherent sure. to wherever they're from. I know when I was out in Arizona, um, you know, we had we had every kind of creepy crawly you can imagine mm -hmm. out there. It's very dry, but when you come to Florida, um, and New England's the same way, you get a lot of the wet kind of bugs, which are cockroaches and things yep. like that. Yep. Spiders yep. also love dry, so there's a lot of spiders out yeah. west. With black but widows. If in you live California. in the city, you deal with rats and mice. I have a friend that lives out in, uh, out in the, the Smokies, and just just little field mice getting in the house. Mm -hmm. sure. In fact, she has one of those little cameras and set up a camera one day oh. and put some crumbs out and a mouse came right in front of the camera inside her house. So so listen, yeah, I'm not I'm not here to kill all the creatures of no, this no, planet. No. I have no I have no desire to do that. <laughs> I don't want to be a killer. No but I mouse. certainly don't want to cohabitate right. with there's nope. a place for those creatures nope. and it's That's outside right. of my house. It's not inside. And if you have pets, well you know pets create messes and crumbs mm -hmm. which attracts bugs. Yeah. So you know it's it's the pet's fault. Sure. Um, but anyway well, you can control or the that kids. as well. Sometimes they come in just looking for water, right? Now yeah. they know just pass up your house, go to the next one. But this is clinically test independently lab tested. Lab tested, tested absolutely. Proven to scare away and repel uh, mice, uh, rats, ants, spiders, uh, and roaches. And those are the only five that they yep. tested. So they can't test every single bug, but right. it repels. Those are the toughest ones. Those are the biggest ones, the hardest ones to get rid of. I tell you, I haven't seen Mm -hmm. anything like I haven't seen any well imagine if you're in an apartment in New York City or in Chicago or in Milwaukee and you're in a big apartment building you may keep a good house and pick up all the crumbs and everything like you said but what about the people next door where you share a wall you know you hear that scratching in the wall you know or uh. up in the attic you hear something scratching around so what do you do you go to the store and you say what are you've got for rats because I know I've got rats or mice upstairs so they give you the sticky traps they give you the poison they give you the big rat traps these all kill by the way the poisons and guy knows this from working in restaurants mm -hmm. they would eat the poison go away and die and guess what that smells like a couple days later we had to have a oh it's we had a conference horrible, room that we sat 15, 15 people in yep like parties of 15 yep. and the business people would come we had to rip off oh, the no. paneling because the rat had died inside the wall it's a and, horrible and it's, thing and it's a I don't want yeah. just chase happens. them away just chase them away with and those, sound those sticky traps are even worse so they're uh, terrible it's kind of like the sound of this to those bugs yep. is like nails on a chalkboard yep. Exactly you right. don't hear anything. Your pets don't hear anything. No. Try it. Yeah, those it's cats if you have a gerbil, don't put it in the same Don't put it in with the gerbil. Right. Or if you have a pet rat, a don't pet. put it in yeah. there. Pet exactly. rat? Do you have a pet My rat? wife had a pet rat when she was a kid. Do you believe me? Oh, that tells no you a lot about why yep. she married me. Yeah, no. She's I know. Anyway, She's very uh, accepting of all those features. I don't know when Mr. Davis is coming back, but I know.